Why rush in? Can't you let my parents support me for as long as humanly possible? <laughs> Career week? Isn't it just another attempt to rob us of our youth? Oh, come on now. An assignment where we actually get to miss some school? I thought you'd be ecstatic. Well, it hardly counts if I have to go do an internship or something. Right. It still means doing something. Come on, man. Consider the possibilities. And I mean, besides, a little work won't look bad on the old college resume, if you know what I mean. College? Are you now also planning your retirement? Since when did you take up motivational speech? Motivational speeches. What's motivational speeches? Well, you know, it's these guys make big bucks telling you how to change your life around and get rid of all your problems. All yeah, right. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> not that I haven't enjoyed this meeting of the mind, but I gotta run. I have like 15 minutes to get all the way across town to meet my mom. And family. you know what? You can do it. You have the power to make it happen. Right. <laughs> you know what? I think I may be on to something here, man. Opening yourself up and revealing yourself to others with creativity is a gift. And here's a beautiful example of that. I saw a bird leave its nest. Its mother did not wonder why. Once it has flown, it's on its own. It made me want to cry. Oh, tiny bird, it seems absurd. The time has come, but why? You could say, then I would say. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> what have we learned from Alton's beautiful poem? Never be afraid to show your sensitive side. <laughs> Why is it so difficult to deliver on the promise of extra duck sauce? <laughs> but can't anything interesting happen at school today? Mom, it was school. Of course not. <laughs> of course they say, no problem. But somehow the bag is always empty. To me, this would indicate a problem. Career. You have to pick a profession. Or a field of interest. And then go out and do something that brings us closer to reaching that goal. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of pressure to me. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to be until I was 25. Then I decided to try acting and realized I hated being a waitress. Are you the same deal over at Hudson? Personally, I think it's a joke. Noah, that is always your excuse when you're trying to get out of something. So what did you guys decide on? I'm still awaiting inspiration. I'm in the process of obtaining a patent for a solar-powered roller coaster. Only problem is it doesn't go very fast, so it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> Sounds different. What, is that stuff like some sort of semi-precious material or something? They can only spare one pouch? I mean, what's in this stuff anyway? And what part of the duck is it from? Honey. Nobody cares about the duck sauce. You may have it all. All? <laughs> There's just one, see? One. And 24 menus. <laughs> Mom, got a little chunk of plum sauce. Don't move. Mark, the plum sauce that my mom inadvertently smeared across her cheek makes a totally awesome bronzer. Would someone hand me a napkin, please? No, Mom, I'm serious. Megan, what did Mom and Dad tell you about playing with your food, huh? I'm having a serious moment here. Mark, what if we started a cosmetic line made from entirely edible and organic ingredients? I think it's a great idea. Honey, don't you think that's a great idea? For sure. Just don't plan on having duck sauce as one of the main ingredients because that stuff is more valuable than platinum. <laughs> you know, if we sold it door to door in the building, we could keep our overhead costs to a minimum. Each box could have a cute little picture of me on it and <gasps> I have the perfect name. We can call the line Meganomania Cosmetics. Naming it after yourself. Shock, shock. I think it's a great idea. I'd like to get in on the IPO. IPO? What's that? Initial plum sauce offer? What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little startup capital in exchange for some profit sharing. Capital? Can I get some capital, too? For what? You haven't even decided on a profession yet. I come bearing duck sauce. Yes, there is a god. <laughs> Here you go. Mom. Dad, I decided what I want to be. I want to be a doorman. <laughs> All right. 
No, you've never even shown any interest in being a doorman. Well, Mom, I don't tell you all my hopes and dreams. You no, know, I, I must admit, I, I have spent many a day wondering who will be the man to fill in my black patent leather slip-on loafers with a tassel when I'm gone. It will be an honor to have you follow in my comfortable shoes. Welcome to my world, young man. Hey, Alton, look at me. I'm a little bird who's falling out of his nest. Yeah, once we've flown, we're on our own. <laughs> Man, get up my face. We don't want to make him cry. No. <laughs> I was put on Earth to chill, you know that. You <laughs> play great career day opportunity, know it. And besides, the doormen do more than just chill. Well, I know. They drink a lot of coffee, too. Although I am more of a soda man myself. <laughs> Why are you taking this assignment seriously, bro? I'm talking about following your dreams, uh, making it happen, chasing down that bliss. Bliss is scoring an easy A on this project, so I have to leave my apartment building. Hector is the man, and this assignment is in the bag. Or should I say, Simon's in the lobby. Exactly, gentlemen. I need the room. Please, Alden. Kind of in the middle of something with Noah. Can you step out to the hall until we through? Like I'm saying. Uh, come again, little brother? Man, I think you heard me, tiny bird. I said step out the hall for a minute until we through. Why don't you question me? <laughs> Luxuriating in nature's own essence. Your flesh is foliating and renewing itself. Uh, frankly, no. Okay. I'm gonna need a testimonial for the side of my box. In three words, tell me how using my products makes you feel. Like a moron. <laughs> oh, starving, I haven't eaten all day, and I am just exhausted. Sorry, Daddy, I kind of cleaned up the fridge making products for my new cosmetic line. Is that tuna? No. It's my special man and camera. Hey, why didn't you use the money Mom fronted you to buy supplies so we could actually have something to eat around here? Well, I would have, Daddy, but I bought this really cute packaging. See? Yeah, that is kind of cute. I must say, you smell delicious. Doesn't <laughs> it? I'm blushing under here. Really? Anyway, Daddy, you should be thankful that I'm a hard-working entrepreneur and not a doorman. Megan, don't be elitist. There's nothing wrong with being a doorman. It's a perfectly respectable occupation. I'm sure your brother is doing a fine job of it. Hey, shut up, kid. What should I do with it? Uh, I don't know. Just toss it anywhere. <laughs> Noah! Do you smell barbecue? Look at what you did to 314's dry cleaning. And I wasn't even gone for a minute yet. Maybe some melted buttons will actually give that thing some style. <laughs> Who died and made you the king of fashion? And why are you sitting down on the job? Because that's what doormen do. <laughs> Let me explain the rules. You are a doorman trainee. You have a long way to go before you earn the right to sit down on the job. Problem solved. Not even close. Your shirt's untucked, your hair's a mess, and your pants are all creased in all the wrong places. Unacceptable. Hector, what is with you? I, I just read your horoscope here, and it says your moon's in retrograde. Hey, <laughs> no reading on the job, and no eating on the job. <laughs> Why not? No, uh, a rolling stone gathers no moss. A rolling stone what? What does that mean? Look, uh, there's more to being a doorman than just doors. Good afternoon, Mr. Wagner. How's it hanging, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> And 
then she said she'd rather wake up in a pool of her own puke than to come to the dance with her. <laughs> Which I took as a firm and definitive no. And how does that make you feel, how uh, Insta. Thirsty. Thirsty. Well, I had eaten corned beef for lunch. I, I see. Um, are you ready to get your life right? How about the rest of you? You guys ready to get your life right? Then listen up. Uh, the boy who gets the girl, the student who races the exam, the early bird who catches the worm. What do they have in common? I said they won't take. They don't take. They can't take, no. Now group hug. Come on, show me some love. <laughs> Feel the love. Feel the power at work. Love you. All right. Um, how work? Let me go, man. Not bad. Presentable, at least. But I know you too well. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I should leave you. Hector, this is for school credit. Ask anyone, when my grade's on the line, I just don't mess up. Now, why don't you get yourself a donut? Let me walk. Ah, what's up? How you doing, boss? Hey, I got a delivery. I need a signature. All right. Print your name neatly. Neatly. Daytime phone number. Area code. Extension. Name your firstborn male. Chad. I don't have any kids. I need it answered to. Hey, that last one was just a joke, buddy. Bloody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if it was important, they'd call back. Plus, of course, it was a heart attack. <laughs> That's a good question. Bloody. Hello? Hello? No one knows that? Just me. I'm being a little too laid back. But in my opinion, that is a whole lot better than being too uptight. Because if you take your job too seriously, you run the risk of taking yourself too seriously. And that is definitely not a good thing. Case in point. Mom, want something done right, you have to do it yourself. I mean, come on! My kids were supposed to messenger my product here an hour ago. Well, did you call him? Of course I called him. He's not there. Megan, calm down. Calm down? Would you tell Estee Lauder to calm down? My whole livelihood is on the line. You know, I don't know how you can be so relaxed. Your money's all tied up in my truck. Oh, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. If it's any longer, it's going to be too late to go out and ring doorbells, and I'm going to totally miss out on so many sales. Megan, if you're so concerned, why don't you just take your prototype out? You can fill some orders, and then you can deliver the goods later. Mom, you're brilliant. When we go public, you are definitely getting stock options. You can get me my $30 back, and I'll be real impressed. What are you staring at? Man, I'm not even scared of you. Now that's scary. You definitely lost my ass. What is the problem? You always complaining that everyone treats you like a bully, even though you a big softy under me. I think you'd be happy with the end change. I know, but I'm not. I didn't fully realize all the perks of having everyone intimidated by you. I miss it. I need it. Well, when did it all change? Change? Yeah, uh, when did you first realize that you were no longer bad? What everyone else realized. Why did Miss Butler have to read my poem? Now my whole world is turned upside down. <laughs> it's not the world, Augie. It's just you. I mean, you need to look within yourself and... You know, I'd hope that it wouldn't come to this. <laughs> but here, what's this? Seminar on Saturday on how to boost your confidence. I hear the instructors really got it going on. Maybe it'll help. Yeah, maybe. 
or maybe not. I'm sorry, old man. I do nothing. <laughs> I'm afraid you belong to me. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Still cute. of Megan and Mania Cosmetics, which is conveniently located in apartment 610. Are you desperately trying to recapture your skin's youthful glow? I think you are. Well, look no further. Please enjoy this complimentary sample of my amazing all-natural avocado face mask. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Now you're a bald man. We can all see that a mile away. Clearly, this product won't change that. But if you apply it liberally, it can really take that shine down. Good afternoon, Mr. Wanger. It's Wagner. I do hope you notice the suave way and finesse the door handle. Yeah, great. Does the mail arrive yet? Certainly has. Just allow me to get that for you as quickly as I can. Ah, uh, um... <laughs> It's a little juicy. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> Lobby. Yes, sir. Lobby. Uh, yes, Dad, I'll have some duck sauce sent right up. <laughs> Wait, 219? That too was ringing before. It's just gotta be the ones with the leak. I'm going in. Now, this product is filled with vitamins and minerals that minimize age lines and wrinkles. Like the one you see on there. And, and there. Oh, and there, too. <laughs> People are incredibly rude. Hello? Hello? Doorman here. Hello? There's got to be some bad taste. Ah! Ah, what are you doing in here? I'm the doorman. I, I, I'm coming because I thought you sprung a leak. I'm not that old, baby. You kick me, Tom, you. Well, you kept ringing me. Uh, what was the emergency? I was ringing because I want to order another jar of this face mask from that cute girl in apartment 610, but she gave me this one for free. And while it hasn't done anything for my complexion, it's absolutely delicious on nachos. Here, you want to taste? <laughs> No, no, I don't want to. I'm going to be leaving right now. Well, lock up on your way out. No. Megan. What, you couldn't find a torch to set it on fire? I didn't know it was yours. It's just one of a ton of things I messed up. No lie? Nope. Doesn't really matter. Just chuck them. My product line was a total failure. I could hardly even give this stuff away, and I'm gonna have to pay mom out of my allowance. Well, you're not as big a flop as you think you are. Old lady Sapelli, she was looking for you. She wanted to buy some more of your avocado face mask. <laughs> Just because she's out of guacamole. <laughs> but, you know, it's good to see her horrible at your new job, too. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome. Wow, look at this place, in perfect order. You got up to a shaky start now, but maybe you're doorman material after all. What size shoes do you wear? I might order you some loafers. Uh, that, that's nice of you, Hector, but to be honest with you, your job's a lot tougher than I realized. I'm not ready for working well. So, um, if you'll just fill my evaluation slip, I'll get out of your way. Is that the little box? That's where you put the A. <laughs> a B minus. Consider yourself lucky. You could have done a lot worse than face criminal charges, peeping Tom. Sure, we all want to be liked. 
<laughs> and sure, we all want to be respected. But who? Well, who I ask is the most important person to have likes and respect you? <laughs> That's right. The man in the mirror, my friend. Now, normally, a young lady leaving my class while I'm talking might bother me. I might say to myself, Self, she thinks you're boring. Or, or Self, she's leaving because she don't like you. But I think we all know that isn't true. Why? She just made me some tissue. Uh, I have an overactive bladder. What are you doing here? I was having a crisis of confidence. And then I saw DJ giving a seminar on motivation. And suddenly my confidence zoomed back up again. <laughs> if you ask me, clearly, she's a total bust. Well, I don't know about that. He just seems to have found his calling. Big old cloud in, in my room full of sunshine. <laughs> what seems to have you trouble, brother? I want to feel the power. But it's long ago. No, no, see, that's what fear taught us. And what have you learned about fear? When it comes knocking at your door, you answer it and you show it who's boss. And let's give it a try. Come on, let's give it a try. You know, let's give it a try. Come on. One, I saw a bird leave its nest. Its mother, then I wonder why she didn't wonder. She didn't wonder. What's it its for? It's on its own. Made me want to cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, tiny bird. <laughs> it seems absurd. The time has come, but why? For if you could stay, then I would stay. DJ is a man who loves his work. And at this point, well, I'm, I'm just not. Although I did learn one thing. If you don't love what you do, you're probably gonna make a mess and a lot of people are gonna scream at you. So I better fall in love with some kind of job before I get out of college. As for Hector, even though he won't admit to it, I suspect that he's glad to have me out of his way. Now, as far as our real future career path goes, well, who's to say? Although I do have a Hot day, old lady from Paris, by the way. I was kidding. <laughs> Are you completely nuts? Don't go anywhere. What? Stay tuned for Caitlin's Way. When? Coming up next on Nick. Life does not get me better than this. No one knows best was taped at Nickelodeon.